So there's a real shift that you have to make in your mind and the process of looking at relationships. Oftentimes people come to relationship analysis looking to fix something because they think there's something wrong or broken or wanting to, you know, on the first blush of meeting someone, wanting to know, is this going to work out? Because you don't want to put any energy into a relationship if there's some kind of fatal flaw. And although I can see a lot of you know, horrible things that can happen in relationship between two different people, just by putting their charts together, I can tell you exactly where the pain points are. Even though I can do that, and even though I can tell you, you guys are literally not each other's type, none of that matters because it all comes back down to your strategy, your authority. I'm not God. Only you are God for yourself. So understanding that you have the power to make sense of things only through that mechanical strategy and authority. Now, what human design can do, rather than telling us what to do, what it can do is show us why we have problems in relationship. So what happens is after maybe six months or a year, after the honeymoon period is over, you start getting really irritated. Things get under your skin and you start hearing things out loud. Why are you so annoying? Or our relationship is dull and boring. Or why are you not listening to me? Or why don't you love me anymore? You know, all of those things that come up in relationship. At first, you like showing each other this beautiful thing that you think that they want to see in you so that you can have the best possible, you know, foot forward or um, presentation of who you think you want to be in relationship to this new love in your life. So today we are going to talk primarily about love relationships. However, the mechanics are the same. When you look at the body graph, one plus one equals three, look at a body graph and you can see the mechanics that are there. It's going to be the same concepts. You can take a look at your uh, body graphs together and see what the challenge is and where the problems are problems, quote unquote problems. Now, really problems, all they are, are learning opportunities in relationship. It's a place where you can surrender to what is there in the relationship, or you can break the bond and walk away. That is the material path of success. Either you accept that other human being as they are, or you let go. That's the third line way. Bonds made and broken. Trial and error determines discovery, adaptability. And yet what happens in relationship is most people look at the other and say, if you'd only change, I'd be okay. Our relationship would be back where we were when we first started and everything would be wonderful again. And I'm sorry, but you can't step your foot in the same river twice. Time flows. Everybody changes. Everybody morphs. Everybody conditions and deconditions at the same time. So sometimes we come to these ending points in our relationships where it's just over. And oftentimes I get people in my practice who don't want it to be over. They want to fix it. And the only thing that there is to fix is accept that you are who you are and they are who they are. And your relationship together will always be what it is. Now there's a way of approaching the relationship, either with openness and allowance and grace and understanding and compassion, or there's approaching the relationship from the old seven-centered way of dominance and submission and pain and suffering. As we move into the cross of the sleeping phoenix, it's time to let that old self die and be reborn be reborn into a new era where we have that abundance, which strictly is a question of spirit. And that abundance comes from our passionate love relationship, first and foremost, primarily always with yourself, my dear friends. So remember, the love must come from within before you see it reflected without. 